Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo Technical Developer. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please just uh, take a second and click the red subscribe button to get the updates of the upcoming videos. In this video, we are going to talk about how to send email or bulk of emails through Python code in Udo. So these are the simple steps that we will follow in this video in order to uh, add the functionality to send the emails on the button click. So first of all, you will have to create the data directory inside the Open Academy module and then create the template, XML template for the email uh, and then add the template uh, and then add that XML file in the manifest direct in the manifest uh data dictionary and then we will have to add a button inside the header portion of the form view of the session model and then we will add the python code in order to send the emails to all the participants of the session and then restart the service and then upgrade the module and then we will check uh, the functionality so first step is to create the data directory inside the open academy right click here and then click the directory here the name should be data and inside data create uh, an xml file uh, with the name uh, email template you can name it whatever you want dot xml so i have already uh, prepared the template uh, so i will just copy it from here and paste it so that uh, uh, i can save some time so i will explain each and every parameter uh, here so the first one is uh, obvious it is the external id of the email template which is mandatory for each xml record so the model is mail that template so whenever you want to create a, an email template you will have to add this model here and then the name of the um, template uh, that you can see uh, when you visit the templates from the front end i will show you also and then this is the email that uh, will be used to send from and then the subject of the email uh, will be added here this parameter is used to um, show the subject of the email and this uh, is for the language purposes that in which language you want to uh, send this email and the email to means that to which email you want to send this email here we will have to uh, add the model uh, for which we want to um, create this uh, template uh, as I am going to create this uh, template for Open Academy dot session model, so I want to uh, send uh, the session to all the participants of the uh, of that session. So therefore, I have added uh, the model Open Academy dot session. The format is like first you will have to add uh, the Open Academy module name, and then dot, and then model, and then model name so if you want to attach the pdf report along with this uh, email template um, so for example if uh, someone received this email and you want to attach the pdf of that record then you will have to add these two lines otherwise you can just remove these two lines so a report template here you will have to add the action of the report so open academy is the module name and dot report session is the action of the report so let me show you go into the reports and then reports.xml so here we can see reports uh, external id is report session so the same thing we have added here uh, so whenever you will uh, click the button to send the email so the report will be generated and will be attached to this email and here you will have to add the uh, pdf report uh, name so session and this is the format to dynamically add the uh, title of the session object is the um, one that uh, you pass in the python function i will just uh, show you when i uh, start adding the python code and name is the name of the session 
so uh, this this thing is the context that i will pass through the python uh, function email to so this is a format that you can get access to the context and this is how you can access to the object of uh, the model and this option is used whether you want to uh, keep the email in udo after being sent then uh, you can make this as false and then the email will uh, so you can make it true sorry and the email will be deleted automatically after uh, successfully sent out to the uh, user and if you want to stay it uh, inside Udo after being sent uh, then you can make it false so i will make it true so that it gets deleted after being sent to the user so this is the body of the email that uh, we can customize it according to our uh, uh, requirements and uh, this is what i have added and copied from the udo default code and uh, this is uh, the end up part and uh, this is the code that i have added here what i have done uh, i have uh, written hello dear the attendee name so i have passed the attendee name as a context which i will show you when i start editing the python code and this is the um, paragraph tick which is closed and again started the paragraph tick so the session object dot name uh, this way you can access the object uh, fields uh, in the template and uh, this is the course name that i have added here like i want to show the our session and the course name and then start it and end it and um, this way you can get the duration so uh, i have added the details is attached as pdf to this email because uh, here i have added the report template and report name so the re pdf report will be attached uh, automatically when i click the send button and then i added the thank you so this is the template that i have i have added you can just play around it and you can uh, make it more attractive uh, by adding some styling also so if you know about the xml and css uh, so uh, after that what is the next step uh, the next step is uh, to add the xml file inside the manifest uh, uh, data dic dictionary so let me add it here uh, data and then email template dot xml so this is it we have added this one and then we have to add the button inside the header section of the farm view so uh, where we have to we have to add inside the uh, open academy dot session form view uh, header section so this is the open academy form view open academy dot session form view here we have to add header because we want to add the button inside the header and then button here we have to add the name uh, the name is action send session by email so this will be the name of the python function that will be used to send the emails so type will be object because we want to add the python object python class we want to call a python class on the base of the button click class will be OE highlight i want to highlight this button uh, and then a uh, string will be send email so close this uh, tag so this is it we have added the button inside the xml and the final step is uh, to add the python code to send the email so i have already uh, written down the python method uh, in order to save or and time and i will explain it uh a bit step by step so inside the open academy.py we have to add inside open academy.session model and here let me add this method so this is the method action sent session by email so let me copy its uh, name and paste it here so that it uh, should be uh, same so here uh, we have uh, made some mistakes so let me copy it again uh, completely so like this one and then copy 
replace it with this code so it is fine now and let me explain it uh, here i have added a for loop to go through each of the attendees uh, so attendee uh, ids is the attendees are the, to which i want to send the email so i want to go through each attendee this for loop will run as many time as uh, many attendees we have for this session so i have added a dictionary and empty dictionary and then uh, i am adding the email list which is the email of the attendee and if there is the email so if the email of the attendee is set then uh, send the email otherwise ignore it so this is the context that i am adding here a uh, context email to which um, i am attaching the email is uh, comma separated emails this is the format that you need to add uh, the email to so for example if there are multiple emails you can uh, just uh, attach to each other uh, by comma separated and then email from which will be the company email and then send mail is uh, true so i have added uh, to pass the context is attendee name from the attendee that will receive the email so this is uh, attendee dot name so uh, this context will be passed here uh, and in the email template we can get the context like this one and uh, this one so there are two examples for the context that you can get and then in order to pass the object so this is the object id that we have passed the object id is the session id and then uh, you can get all the session um all the session attributes uh, by just object dot uh, uh, named object dot duration object dot started so these are all the fields that are available in the uh, open academy dot session model and you can get the value of each and every field because we have added uh, we have passed the uh, id of the session uh, here in the send email parameter so for send we have to make it true and then raise exception is equal to false and so uh, here we have uh, we get the template so how we can get it uh, object uh, here we have to pass um, self so how we can get the template uh, like this one self.env.reference and uh, then breakers and then we have to uh, add inside the code the external id of the template uh, first we have to add the uh, mod module name which is open academy dot uh, this is the external id of the template which is this one and then uh, you this way you can get the template and in order to send the email you know, for this template you will have to just call the method send mail and we have um, called this with the context so if you want to add some pass some custom context then you will have to call it like template dot with context and inside the um, inside the with constant you will have to pass the const context that we have added we have prepared here and then dot sent mail so this method will be called and the email will be sent out to this uh, attendee so let me just uh, restart the service and then upgrade the module to see the change uh, go to apps click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade we will be able to see the change so a new button will be added on the session uh, form view and once click on the session form view uh, we will be able to see the uh, we will be able to send the email to the attendees of uh, that session so let me go to here and go to this one and here we can see that a new button has been added send email so these are the uh, attendees so uh, how we can check the emails that has been sent out so you can go to settings and in under the setting you will be able to see the menu item technical so you will only see this menu item if you activate the debug mode 
and here you will be able to see the emails option so here you can access all the emails uh, that uh, are either failed or uh, sent out but uh, the template uh, option is false so if this is true then the email will be deleted automatically after being sent out so let me just click on the send email button to uh, see what will happen so click here and then uh, it will take some time to send the emails so let me just check the logs and here you will see a pdf report has been generated from attachment so this is because whenever you click the button it has started sending emails to all the participants of the sessions and it started creating the pdf report for each session for each uh, participants uh, so and it is showing in the logs and here uh, we can see that uh, the loading has been completed and let me check if the emails has been sent out or not so here inside uh, that under the technical we can see emails so once you click here so we can see all the emails has uh, are, uh, started appearing uh, here this is because that uh, the, all these emails are in the failed state so uh, why it has been failed because we have not yet configured the out and incoming mail server so uh, probably in the next or upcoming videos we will configure the outgoing mail servers and then it will be sent out uh, automatically so click on any of the email to see the details uh, so let me click on the first one and here you can see that uh, the email is in the failed state and you can retry to send it this is the um, session training so this is the title and you can see the object the subject of the email from email and to emails so here you can see the body of the email and if you go to the attachments you will be able to see the pdf report that has been generated by odo automatically so let me download it and then open it so here we can see the report has been generated automatically and attached to the email so this way uh, a report can be automatically attached to the email uh, this is how we can send the emails automatically either on the basis of the button or we can uh, just a send it on the basis of the clone job so uh, if you want to send it out on the basis of the clone job you will have to just uh, create a clone job and, and then call this uh, method uh, inside the clone job and the emails will be sent out automatically so i will just explain in the next video you how you can create uh, an automatic actions are cron job uh, and how you can send the email using the cron job automatically so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and also share with your uh, friends thank you